Unit 5, Lesson 14, Using Operations on Decimals to Solve Problems. Number 1. A roll of ribbon was 12 meters long. Diego cut 9 pieces of ribbon that were 4 tenths of a meter each to tie some presents. He then used the remaining ribbon to make some wreaths. Each wreath required 6 tenths of a meter. For each question, explain your reasoning. A. How many meters of ribbon were available for making wreaths? 9 times 4 tenths is 3 and 6 tenths, and 12 meters minus 3 and 6 tenths meters equals 8 and 4 tenths meters. There were 8 and 4 tenths meters of ribbon left to make wreaths. B. How many wreaths could Diego make with the available ribbon? 8 and 4 tenths divided by 6 tenths is the same as 84 divided by 6, which is 14. Diego was able to make 14 wreaths with the available ribbon. Number 2. The Amazon rainforest covered 6 and 42 hundredths million square kilometers in 1994. In 2014, it covered only 50 50 ninths as much which is closest to the area of the Amazon forest in 2014. Explain how you know without calculating the exact area. Since 5 sixths of 6 million is 5 million, I chose B, 5 and 4 tenths million kilometers squared. Number 3. To get an A in her math class, Jada needs to have at least 90% of the total number of points possible. The table shows Jada's results before the final test in the class. A. Does Jada have 90% of the total possible points before the final test? Explain how you know. 90% of 450 points is 405 points, and Jada only has a total of 400 points. So no, she does not have at least 90%. B. Jada thinks that if she gets at least 92 out of 100 on the final test, she will get an A in the class. Do you agree? Explain. Well, the highest possible score would be 550 points altogether. Jada's total score, after getting 92 points on her final test, would be 492 and 492 is 89 and 45 hundredths percent of 550 so no she has less than a 90 percent she's not going to get an A in the class number four find the following differences show your reasoning a 151 thousandths minus 28 thousandths One hundred fifty-one thousandths minus twenty-eight thousandths equals one hundred twenty-three thousandths. B. One hundred six thousandths minus three hundred fifteen ten thousandths. One hundred six thousandths minus three hundred fifteen ten thousandths equals seven hundred forty-five ten thousandths. C. 3 and 572 thousandths minus 2 and 614 ten thousandths. 3 and 572 thousandths minus 2 and 6014 ten thousandths equals 9706 ten thousandths. Number 5. Find these quotients. Show your reasoning. A. 24 and 2 tenths divided by 1 and 1 tenth. 24 and 2 tenths divided by 1 and 1 tenth is the same as 242 divided by 11. And 242 divided by 11 is 22. B. 13 and 25 hundredths divided by 4 tenths. 13 and 25 hundredths divided by 4 tenths is the same as 1,325 divided by 40. 
and 1,325 divided by 40 equals 33 and 125 thousandths. C. 170 and 28 hundredths divided by 8 hundredths. That's the same as 17,028 divided by 8. And 17,028 divided by 8 equals 2,128 and 5 tenths. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 14, Using Operations on Decimals to Solve Problems. Music